Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome on back to Empire's SMP. Today is a big one. I want to finish every single building inside of my Minecraft village base. We still have five buildings left to finish, building the walls around the entire village, and probably most importantly, actually connecting this dang thing to the ground. Let's get started, but first, please subscribe. I like you, you hopefully leave a like on the video. So that means we already have a connection, right? So you're gonna subscribe? Yeah. Now last episode, my friends, we lost Big time. Jimmy got the Codfather head back, and well, a demon is now released in the world at full power, so that's not very good. And I believe with that, the Grimlin needs to move into a phase of helping everybody inside of the world to become their best and strongest empire they can to fight back against all this stuff. We've got a few people on the server right now taking on demonic powers, and it's just not fair. We gotta, we gotta even the playing field here. And being the guy who's gonna help everybody gear up as much, I still need to clean this up, as much as they possibly can will hopefully put us in a position where we can build some new alliances, as right now, gem is are really our only ally. Now, today is gonna be all about expanding our village and getting ourselves set up with a lot of new villagers, but what the heck is that? How did I not notice this before? What is going on? I, what is, is that an eyeball? Why is that here? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This stupid corruption here has no place in the Grimlands. We have our lovely source of corruption being the deep slate redstone itself. We don't need a poser of an evil power inside of this area. No way, we do not. We, we're, we're not gonna let this happen. We're not gonna let this happen. I'm taking it all down. We're getting rid of all of it. It's it's all coming down right now. I've got my hoe in here, which will be able to help us a lot with taking that down, but unfortunately, it doesn't have mending on it yet. So we're gonna use our last mending book we have from Sausage, uh, cause we're gonna broke that alliance off, or he broke the alliance off, really not us here. All right, we are pretty much all fixed up here, my friends. So it is time to kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode and tear down all of those spikes because we're, we're getting rid of it. It's gone. It's gonna be gone now. Was there not just a giant eyeball over there? I got rid of some of the corruption and the thing just seems to have disappeared. But uh, on a different note, we now have two shulker boxes full of warped ne or nether warp blocks over here. A gift from the undergrove. <gasps> oh my God, Shelby, you're the best. I will come and get that soon. My inventory's a little full. I started reaching out to everybody on the server to see if I could get their extra calcite for a future build plan that we have. And uh, Shelby was the first person to be willing to drop some off. So that's amazing. I'm just gonna set this little system up down here for now where we can take this old guy, we take these, and if we put all of that stuff in there, yes, we're gonna be turning, <laughs> I love this. We're gonna be turning the corruption into uh, into bone meal. That's gonna be great. It's gonna help us grow so much food for our empire and definitely nothing can go wrong with this, right? Right. Perfect, okay, we'll come back down here and we'll just have a double chest full of bone meal. That'll be amazing. But as mentioned, I want to finish all of the buildings inside of the village today. And last episode, we built up our butcher shop right over there, which is looking amazing. And I'm thinking next up, we build these two structures in here and try and get this whole area finished up. Not too sure if we're gonna be throwing one in here anymore, cause I think it'd just be a little too skinny. But what do we have over here? Not too much deep slate. Okay. Oh, ooh, I don't know what sound that was I made, but that's a lot of cobbled deep sled in here. That's gonna help us a lot. How's our wood situation? We got a good amount of dark oak wood. Okay, that'll be good. And we got spruce. All right, I think I might be able to just get started on building back here. I've got everything together and it looks like I'm not the only person on the Empire server to be having some corruption. Shelby's little base over there with the cutest little mushroom statue ever uh, appears to be under assault as well. But my friends, look at this. I've got the grind done over here. I've got so many blocks to be able to build two amazing houses, buildings, shops right over here. We're gonna be slowly kitting out the entire village with a bunch of really useful stuff instead of, you know, just the farmers and the stonemasons that we have already. So without any further ado, for the second time in today's episode, my friends, instead of destroying things, it is time to build things. So let's kick this off in a good old fashioned time-lapse mode. And there we have it, my friends. This is looking pretty fantastic over here. I think it's finally time that we get rid of this gross rail system 
guys, uh, we're not really using it all that much. For these two buildings, I figured we could turn them into some shops for ourselves. So we're gonna throw a bunch of Fletcher villagers inside of here. And we're gonna be throwing a bunch of weaponsmiths inside of this one right in there. We got a little space for a forge in the back corner and it's gonna be looking absolutely awesome. So we got the sword as well as the arrows right over there. I'm hoping we can get some good trades on those dudes. And then I have this top balcony up here, which I think we're just gonna leave open for now. We'll see what we do with it later. If you got any ideas for that upper section, let me know down in the comments below. That being said though, I did want to come along here and upgrade this little section beyond what we have right now and turn it actually into a little bit of farmland for ourselves. Thought it was gonna fall down there. Adding another tree here into the corner as well as expanding our carrot field that we have going all the way around this section, I think could be really cool looking and give ourselves an interesting bit in here that's not just throwing in another house. But we have the road all the way along here. We get rid of these torches so it looks a lot cleaner, let's be honest. And then we just have a little bit of vegetation back here. I think it'll give us a really cool little village feel. And copying the design we have in front of the farmer house we can add the little slabs on top and then this will be perfectly set up to throw in a small carrot field while expanding our current carrot field I should say hopefully we can get enough out of this little patch to expand the entire area and I'm really surprised that our farmers aren't harvesting this to like trade and breed with everybody else in the village I was kind of hoping that would happen and it just never did so maybe we need more beds or something but the inn is full of them so I don't know but for now this will have to do it I'm kind of loving adding all these bushes around here really making it feel so alive on the inside of the village to contrast what we have with all the death and destruction outside of it right now but it's looking good it's looking good change of plans here on the old carrot field drop the wall down by one and it's looking a lot better now that we actually can see over this area and i do still want to get some trees over in here and i think we do one on that little corner right there just to get some more greenery in here right and what's a better tree type that we can use besides our dark oak trees right over here with the little granite walls in the middle i think they look amazing and i know just where to get some dark oak leaves what the heck is happening over there i don't want to know i don't want to know joe is not exactly a friend of ours now so i think we might have to uh create a barrier of sorts against the jungle empire but in the meantime over to mythland we go where we can harvest a lot of dark oak leaves right here along the edge i don't think you'll mind think i'll mind if we just get the leaves we'll leave the wood behind we're not gonna take that i definitely don't want to be disrespecting our former ally over here i actually know maybe 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 we do he's uh kind of quite on the enemy side now so uh yeah we're just gonna take a bunch of leaves over here and i think he's gonna love this there we go almost a full inventory and look at that oh oh we missed one we can't leave a leaf on these trees much much better there we go he has such a nice little waterfront view oh i love this I'm sure we'll be back for another visit here soon. Progress, progress, progress. It's looking great out here. We might honestly be able to release the villagers into this section soon. We got a new tree right over there. I've added a bunch of moss with lights under it all the way throughout here. And we've got the brand new tree right over here with a little gardeny aspect too. And I am loving it. The next thing I was thinking would be kind of cool, taking some birch fences for ourselves from right over here to right over here and creating a little bit of a banister right like that. Yes that's gonna be awesome okay then all we need to do from here is alternate it along the whole thing with some soul lanterns and then some flower pots right like this Okay, maybe a little hectic, but there we go. That's looking absolutely amazing. We need to start moving some villagers into here and actually getting these interior spaces built out. But uh, I kind of want to focus on building up the entire structural bits of the village today. And we've made a lot of good progress so far. I got to see it. I got to see it. What's this looking like with shaders? I go through a lot of phases where I love shaders and then I hate them and then I love them again. And I'm kind of one of those phases where I'm like, yeah, they look pretty cool, but I really love vanilla more so. But oh my Lord, this right here is awesome and I've got to hide that underneath okay but this right here is looking great oh man I've loved this village that we've been able to build so far this is looking fantastic before we move further anymore with building up the madness of this base Catherine actually stopped by and she invited me over to help her with exploding a giant portion of her land so uh I was in I'm in I don't know if I can point to this is this does this make sense? I think you know what you're doing. I'm sense. really yep. I can see where you're pointing right now. That's great. Like, uh huh. Right, right here is where I want the explosion to happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I got it. Got it. Yeah. I think. I so this. So like right there, and then you go. So up, like right, 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 right here, right here. Yeah. To to the right a little bit. Oh. oh okay. Right over yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right yeah. There. And then then we go like all the way up there. Okay. Got it. Got yeah, it. You know what? I think we can make this happen. Like squares. 
Like, that's where my cactus farm is. We can connect right to that. Let's hope this one works right here. All right. Uh, it's off. I'm getting out of here. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, oh. Mm, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, <laughs> run. Run. <laughs> run. Ah, run. Ah. Keep running, Gathered. Gathered, keep running. Ah. Keep running, Gathered. Ah. You're doing great. Is it working? Is it working? Yep. It's working great. Just no, don't, don't stop, don't stop. You, you stopped. Stopping's stop. bad. But look. Ow! Ow! Hey, 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 hey! Trying to blow me up. Hey, we did it! Look at that! Wow! Wow, that actually went like way deeper than I thought it was. This is like a couple blocks deep. Have oh. fun filling all this in. What? I am an explosive service here. There's a, not a building service. Flip! Help me fill it up with water! <laughs> awesome. Well, it looks well, like you well, got a great project yeah. ahead of yourself here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for Enjoy. helping me explode it. Yeah, of course, of course. It's turned out great. Good luck. Can't wait to see what it turns into. I spent a little bit more time detailing around here and mostly just hiding some torches underneath the base and it's starting to look so much better. Oh, I can't wait to not have any of these weird little ground torches sitting around and it's a, it's a struggle. It's a big struggle trying to hide all of these things under the mossy carpet. And even doing some clever things of just moving around so we can throw some lanterns out there, I think might help on this section too. But we're almost at the point here where if we finish all these buildings off, we can let down all of the fences and let the villagers roam free throughout the entire place so they can find other new places I haven't thought about to kill themselves on. But I don't want them falling off the edge of this entire hill floating platform that we've made. So I think next step I would like to work on since it can be done and I still don't have the new builds figured out quite yet is I want to work on getting this wall from all the way over here to all the way back there behind our gift shop right yeah that's a gift shop and thankfully in here we are overflowing on dirt and grass blocks so uh, I should be able to do this entire build we got a lot of stone and now I got a lot of calcite and I believe we got a lot of diorite in here yeah look at that all right we should be all good and Blackstone Wise, which is the other resource that I'm always struggling to get, we should be good on that one there too. So with that, my friends, for the third time in today's uh, mega episode, does this count as a mega episode? I think it does. But let's kick this off in good old fashioned time lapse mode. And there we have it, my friends. This entire wall is now finished up and it is looking absolutely amazing. That's lava, that's lava, that's lava. Okay, okay, it's quite warm now, I don't like this. Dive, 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 okay. I almost hit the land. I might have a little bit of morning voice right now because it is the next day as I spent a bunch of time up here adding in the azalea leaves. We added in sweet berries all over the place and then I also added in all of these pointed dripstone bits and I think it looks so dang good now. We have a lot of character to this build that we didn't have beforehand. The other side over here does as well and check that out. It is looking really really good my friends the only thing we need more of to bring more character into the grimlands is i think some more heads on spikes and why is there wasn't that an axolotl why is that a pig i don't know now before we move any further in today's episode we actually got to go back in time a little bit here to some events that happened before i really started recording as well, I'm trying to make amends with Jimmy over here, the conclusion of the Codfather's Head happened in the last episode. That saga is over. Now that we have lost Mythical Sausage to the demon, he's no longer in our alliance. And I need some help being able to spy on him, keeping tabs on him. So that is where Jimmy comes in. We need to become friends with Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, what am I supposed to be looking at over here? Flip. You're going to think I'm 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 crazy. What, right? what am I and supposed I know to be? Uh, you that. have the same tentacles Flip. I have. Flip. Wait, listen, listen, you think you, I, um, you know, um, you're going to think I'm crazy, right? But I promise, follow me, I promise, I promise. This thing here, there was a massive eye. Um, Lizzie thought it was a boob or an udder. It was an okay. eye, okay? It was, it was here, it was big, and it had lava in it, I think. And, there, you know, there's here, a I little promise. bit of dirt over here. Something, yeah, yeah. something was look, here. Look at this. Yeah, that one me. That was, that one me, no sir. Chicken over there. Looking shady. No, I promise. Speaking of shady, what is your neighbor doing? 
Wait, should we go check that out? I've, I actually don't. I've never seen that. Yeah, I I don't, is, mm, I don't I don't like him too much anymore. He's, yeah, we got we gotta be careful of him. We gotta be careful. But wait, you don't wait. You fell out. Oh yeah, no no, he's out of the alliance. No man, uh, sausage is ooh, no, he's gone. Whoa, he's gone, wait, gone. what happened? Hi, welcome Evil, to sir? the Dark Tower of Mithland. Welcome. Why why is that be the Dark Tower? You're already in a dark forest. Can't it just be the tower? No. No. It doesn't it sound extra dark. Enough. Yes. It's like it dark with an extra side of darkness. Scary. Yes, with a capital D. Uh -huh. Did you see the giant eye? Oh, uh, yeah, I just saw that a little bit ago. Oh, <laughs> oh, so yeah, yeah, I'm not going crazy, Flip. It was there. Yeah, it's, there it was, was an eye there earlier. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. Oh, oh, this is... <laughs> um, guys, um, remember how I said, you know, power was coming? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy, I'm just going to say stand back. Yeah, it's here right now. So thank Wait. you. So much for visiting the Dark Tower of Mithlin. Oh, Is there Jimmy, anything I can be of assistance? Jimmy, run. Jimmy, run. You're Jimmy, run. Pretty fast. Jimmy, run. Jimmy, you look like you've got some power. Oh, just you, a little bit. Yeah, you, coming you, in and out. You oh, look Jimmy. You know, here. Yeah? Jimmy, I want to let you, you know don't. one thing, though, okay? What? Thank you so much for helping in the battle, okay, against the dragon. I, I will not know. forget this moment. You, Lizzie, Joel and Pixorus are all on the good list. Wait, why? What? Because we, because we, we helped. Yes, because you helped defeat the dragon, and because of this, Jimmy, I would like to thank you so much. About, about, about. I'm running away. So it was at this time that I ran back home, cowering. But then, then I heard Sausage was telling Jimmy that anyone who followed the Wither Rose Alliance would die. Oh my God! <laughs> you have die! no right to own this banner! You have no right to own that banner! They're all- Moving back over to our peaceful time now of working on the village, I wanted to start constructing our toolsmith. I'm a little worried about building this one right now as we're gonna be very, very close to this fence wall over here and the villagers might be able to get out. That being said though, I've got a pretty cool idea in mind over here. So if we bring ourselves up four blocks and then head right over this way, I think we can make something really unique that'll be really, really fun. A lot of the builds that I've been doing so far are more geared towards cold weather, I guess you could say, of there's not really open spaces on them. But as we're going to be building a forge here, I figured open spaces would be really, really important because there's going to be a lot of heat moving around. So coming right over in here, we have our front archway right like this. We skip a few blocks over this way for ourselves, and then we bring in a little bit of the dripstone right here, which would be kind of the main structure. And then I did want to have a supporting wall going all the way back around this direction made out of the brick, which this here will help make the alleyway that we're building in the corner a lot better. So we can keep the brick going all the way around the back on this side, and then right over in here, I'm thinking we can do a small tower just going straight up to add to the skyline that we have around here i love the little spiky towers going all the way up and i recently came across a small design that i thought would be so fun to use as far as the building goes of we do a little bit of the dripstone at the base and then we do the strip spruce log right up there and then we just bring some spruce planks in right around this guy and making a little bit more interesting over here we can create a lofted space a little bit of an entrance right in that point maybe fortify it a little bit more along the edge here with something like that or instead we bring in a little bit more dark oak and bring some lanterns right up here to get a little bit of a better glow for ourselves and then we take some dark oak fence gates right over here use some chains coming all the way down here to what like this section and then i think the grindstone would need to be placed in here right like this and we can have it holding a barrel then to add some more life down here we already have a cart right over there but we can add a tiny little wagon of sorts that's been transporting the barrels around maybe they have some ores that are going to be thrown inside of the furnace and throw like a next barrel ready to be picked up right back in there and to fortify this one a little bit more as it's being lifted up maybe we put some ladders on the sides and i do love to add signs as details on the sides of wagons so we'll throw these guys in perfect i figured getting the blacksmith forge in place is probably our next highest priority as it's kind of the staple piece inside of here so I was thinking we've done this little pattern here before. That could be great for the little corner pieces. Then coming back in here, we can actually have the forge area. And I want to go very oversized with this one. So we're going to be using magma blocks all the way around like that. I think it's going to be super cool. And now we can start to contain this thing, which something like that can start to work out pretty well. And what if instead of just having it being open, we add a little hatch right over here 
and that can connect right over there so that can swing up and down and everything like that that looks pretty cool nice that is looking really good i brought it in for being a three by two just two by two so i brought this side in right over there and i think that'll make a lot more sense once we get the roof on this thing so uh let me slap that guy in okay but first we take a selfie? No, no, no. We got the tower in. We got the tower in. That's going to look so good up there. I tried going with a stone and a side and stone brick over here just so it contrasts really well to everything else that we have, but still kind of lends into being the wall. So maybe this is an older building in town here. Now, now we get the roof in. And there it is. Oh, this is looking a million times better. Decide to go with the black stone roof so it contrasted pretty well to the deep slate forge that we have back in here. We got the floor in as well, and it's looking really good. Just did the same pattern that we used for the roadways around here. And I love this thing. And I also was able to expand the area the villagers had. I was able to take down a good portion of the fence that we had blocking it off back there. So they got another five or six blocks they can run around in. Oh, happy days for them. Not gonna lie. Kind of love that tower design up there. I think it's super cool, but I'll tell y'all what, folks. We've got one building left to do, and that is this big boy right over here being the library, but we also have all of the terraforming and everything going on back here. I still have a bunch of dirt and stone and everything like that that I have on hand to be able to, you know, do all this stuff here. So I think I want to focus on just getting the wall built up, going all the way as far back here as we can for now, and we'll see if we can make that happen. I think I need more Blackstone, which really sucks. Mr. Farmer Villager, don't go back there, please, please. I'm, I'm trying to tell a story about how we built the final segment of the wall around our village, but that's, yep, go enjoy the cake, yeah. We can sit down over here. I will tell you the story. No, you don't want to hear this. Okay, try and tell you a story. That's, that's fine, buddy. Yep, just walk right out there. Well, anyways, as I was going to be saying here, uh, we did it, we built the wall. Check this out, woohoo! I knew this was a big project coming in here today, but holy cow, I was not expecting to be this close this quickly to finishing the entire village. Holy cow, my friends, all we have left to do is build the library right back in here. We got to build a little bit of a tiny segment from the wall connecting right over to here expand this roadway out and build a nice little gatehouse so our villagers can't get out because that's going to be leading up to our next base expansion not really connected with the village but its own unique thing but all the way up in the sky look at that right there oh it's looking so dang good i am in love with this base right here my friends Woohoo! we've done a lot of work today now i just need to figure out what the heck we're doing for this library okay easy mode Easy, so, so easy. Yep, completely, already, basically already done. Yeah, definitely got that in my brain, uh-huh. Time to plan a uh, fourth building today? Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll get that going, okay, right? Yeah, all right, we'll get to that right now. Mm -hmm. Just like that, three, two, one, and snap of the fingers, and whoop, a building is done. Yeah, it'll be done right here instantly, right before your very eyes, uh, whoop, told ya. Look at this, wow, it's done. Oh my gosh, we have a library over here. Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh, my friends, check this thing out here. We We've done it in just two seconds right there the entire library build is done on the outside we got these cool little towers inside of here we got some bookshelf windows going on it's looking amazing we got some nice decorative walls over here with the calcite just to break it up because otherwise it was just spruce everywhere but it's looking really cool around here i kind of love all the moss all over the place and i have done this entire section back here so we got a new tree this is all new land actually so i guess that's pretty cool we got the final section of the wall planned out ready to go in there and look at all these things i love them we got nice flower beds and it's looking so beautiful oh i love it i can't wait to get the gate back there which we're going to be doing very soon right here because i want to get this tower in we got to get that wall in and everything like that and that'll be leaning up to here however i've been making a bunch of trips back to the storage room and this little owl showed up i believe this is one of the owls of rivendell over at Scott's Empire. So I think that means we gotta go over there and check out and see what the heck's going on. That's my ally <laughs> enemy wall. It's weird how I have most of the heads of my allies rather than my enemies, but still. Wait, Scott, you killed me. <laughs> how Just is he an ally? Sometime. No, he's not. He was a neutral, which is blue, but to be fair, I should probably change that to red. I'll just don't put break him, my sides. Um... I don't come into your empire and break things. Put it back. <laughs> I'll just put him right there. Scott, you fine. murdered me for this. This is not even... <laughs> Yep. As you can all tell, the corruption has spread way further, and we now have those giant tentacle things. Anything we've tried with the corruption doesn't seem to have worked right now. So my thought yep. process was, if we gather the other corruption that we have, 
take it far away and then just kind of do the out of sight, out of mind strategy. We're like, not our problem yet. We just put it far away. Yeah, I like avoiding yeah. it. Avoiding it yeah. sounds good. I've actually done that already. Wait, what? What? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Avoided problems? Yeah, I've we all have. I've taken my What'd box of corruption and I've put them far away. It's been working great so far, except the tentacles came, so I don't understand. That's creepy. Okay, I found so out they make great problem. fertilizer, by the way. If you want to just like oh, chop the tentacles cool. down and throw them in a composter, they, <laughs> they're amazing. Disgusting. It's amazing. Carrots love it. That sounds like a hazard of some kind. Yeah, see, I put on a it's fine. My village was like, they're I tried disgusting. to clear some. So there's a box in there that we're putting it all in, right? Yeah, there's a silver box so. encased in obsidian with my corruption in it. So I can just oh. hold on to these because they're native to my region, right? I, they're, Is they're it all going to fit in one pretty box? Pretty beautiful, and they. Well, well, it you can get new ones. Put it in the box. <laughs> but, but, oh. Put it in the box. Okay. Oh, these seems to have worked. Gosh. Oh. Okay. This seems to be going well. Yeah, yeah. That'll be fine to keep those, right? It'll be fine. It's fine. We build with those. We, we deal with we this like we do with all our other problems by ignoring it and pretending it doesn't exist. I put my stuff in Shelby's box, so. Is that in your nose? Sweet. Yep, that should all be in there. So that's all Whoa. of it? Right. Well, let's reconvene when we figure out how to deal with the tentacles and go forth from there. Okay. Yay! Sure. Sounds good. Oh, good oh. Please, for the love of everything, do not climb across this tree and fall off and kill yourself. That is all I'm asking, Mr. Toolsmith. Are you... Oh, you're even the important one. Please, no, 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 no. Oh, he's on the roof. He's on the roof. And he's, oh, he didn't take fall damage. Oh, oh, he won't kill himself yet. Oh, so good. Okay, thank you. Next up, we have the weird task here of finishing this wall, which I really don't know how it's gonna work out quite yet because this one is very weirdly angled. Maybe we go one block taller than that so it's above the roof line, but that should be pretty good. How many blocks does that bring us on the outside? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's not half bad. Okay, that'll be fine. Thankfully, I've built these so many times so far that I pretty much know what I'm doing and just have an unmuscle memory for these builds. So that's uh, that's going to be great. <laughs> and that does bring me up to about right here. But I kind of want to keep going up a little bit further. So this tower might be a block taller than that guy. I think could make it look a lot more interesting over here. Now we just get the fun final tasks of having to go around and actually build the roofs on these things. And the hard part about the new wall section is going to be figuring out what it's going to do along there. I'm a little nervous, won't lie. Pretty nervous about that one. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do for it yet. Building late into the night here, it is time for a little bit of, of a progress update, my friends. I've got all of the spruce wood in down there with all of our little arrow slits and everything like that, so that's looking fantastic. And then I just got the tower in right over there, and now we can finally see what this will look like. Oh, I love that. It's a little skinny, but I think if we bring the gateway, I don't think I have anything on me right now, just as an example block, right out through here, and then we do a direct diagonal on that, that's gonna look really cool. The final flying away and turning around to look at what we've built so far today, my friends. And there we have it. The entire wall is finished up. All we need now is the little gatehouse to keep our villagers contained. And oh my gosh, I, I haven't finished a big build like this in quite some time. We still got interiors to do, but we'll do those probably in live streams and whatnot. Because I think that's way more fun because uh, they take quite a while. So it's much more fun to get ideas from all of you on that front. I have pretty much no idea what I want to be doing over here, but I figured we could just grab a bunch of stone bricks, some stone brick stairs, and some chiseled stone bricks and uh, start throwing something together. So before we talked about adding some things right over in here, and then if we just start bringing up like that's four blocks upwards, and then we bring this over here, that does connect us. Unfortunately, we're on an odd width, so that's gonna be a little annoying to work with, but I think that's pretty much as good as we can do. And I need to remember to be duplicating this on the backside too, so that we can have everything being symmetrical because it's gonna be a little bit of a thick guy. So I think we gotta start from the beginning. Next step on the gateway, my friends, is we've got all this stuff in over here. We got the iron bars in, which is looking great to keep things out or in. And then the trap doors down here are going to stop the villagers from moving over. Not 100% sure how I feel about this right now, but it's definitely getting to the more fancy side, which I do like. So we're making a lot of progress here, but I think we need to start throwing in a few more detail bits instead of just having stone brick and deep slate. We got to start really messing things up together. I love this little entryway portcullis thing we have. That should work out really well. It's very much just a ornamental gate. Like this isn't meant to keep things out except, you know, keeping the villagers in. So if it's not the most fortified, what I'm trying to get out is that uh, that's okay. 
Now the way you can make it really fancy is just coming over here with a bunch of flowering azalea leaves and it'll be totally fine. We can hide the wonkiness behind bushes and it's it's great, right? That's that's what we will want to do. Yes, I love that now. Okay, that is looking really, really good. The top up here might be able to use a little bit more love. Maybe we can round these corners off. Very confident in that decision and uh, I think it paid off. I think that paid off. We got enough lanterns up there to keep it lit completely, so that should be all good. Not sure where we turn into a let's build session today, but this is, uh, this is looking pretty good. Let me know if y'all want to see more stuff like this moving forwards in videos. I'm always happy to include it, but as far as I understood, people mostly enjoy the quick time lapses and moving on to the next thing. I threw shaders on and oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is, that is nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We did it, my friends. The whole village, the entire village is now done. We just need to decorate the interiors and get everything moving around. And actually, you know what? Maybe right now, we got to see if the villagers are going to manage to kill themselves or not if they start exploring this whole new place. So uh, it's time to remove the fences. This doesn't give me any amounts of anxiety. Nope, not that these have been the safety barriers keeping our villagers alive this entire time. And I'm not even completely sure that's going to work to keep them in, but uh, hopefully it does. We do have a villager breeder full of the dudes, so if we need to get them back out, it'll be okay. I've checked the entire base, and everything in here should be mob proof and or at least a light level eight, so nothing will be spawning. We still gotta decorate a few areas out like these guys and making sure double checking. Well, there's no going back now. They are free to roam out wherever they want, and they really just wanna stare at the fence posts here. Yeah, I know you guys missed the fences. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. Oh. Yep, I'm nervous. Yep, just keeps you and the kitty. You and the, the wild kitty cat. Oh, now it's in the water. Okay, you guys just keep staring at the nice little azalea bush. Now, I'm not sure if Lizzie has the same world map copy as what I have down here, so I don't know if this is gonna update it on her side as well, but it's time to run down into the Fwip cave here and update the map of our area. I've been updating it as we go along the way just because I've been impatient, but check this out right here. Oh, that's looking good. And we got to do it. Finishing the wall going all the way around. It looks like a weird rib cage almost. Or like a snake skeleton with all the little lines on it. But oh, look at that, folks. We've done it. Oh my gosh. I finished my base. What do I do now? Oh, I, I have no idea. Do you have any ideas? What do I do next? I don't know. We'll find that out. I think with that, my friends, that's where we're gonna have to be calling it for today's episode. Holy cow, we have done so much building around the base and I am absolutely loving it. So I hope y'all did enjoy. This thing's taken me like 30 hours so far to do. So if you could please be sure to click that like button down below, that'd be absolutely amazing. The skyline of our village looks incredible, especially in front of this disgusting pointed dripstone farm that we have over there, but that's fine. And it has recently come to my attention here that somebody has been coming through and stealing gunpowder like, wait, what happened to all my gunpowder? I was gonna say like crazy and it has indeed. Last time I checked here was like a few hours ago and it was filled up through these chests. What's going on? I know I literally just said I have no idea what I'm doing in the next episode, but my friends, we're, we're building a vault. We're building a vault to store our gunpowder in. And I think it's people who are not our friends are coming over here to take all of our gunpowder and we can't let that happen. Anyways, if you are brand new, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below if you enjoyed today's episode. Click that like button if you have not already. There's a creeper and an enderman in our boat that I looked at and uh, I'm running away now. But with that, my friends, I will get you on the flip side.